Disaster Management These pictures of earthquake, flood, tsunami, train accident, bomb blast, terrorist attack, forest fire reminds us of some past bad memories which we all have come across in our daily life. Maybe in the form of daily news or maybe a self-experienced event. Wondering, what is this? Well, these are forms of a disaster. Disaster. Now let us try to understand what exactly is disaster. United Nations has defined the disaster as the sudden event that leads to the huge loss of life and property. Types of disaster. The different types of disaster that we might come across are classified into three groups. One, geophysical. Two, biological. Three, man-made. Geophysical is further subdivided into geological example, earthquake, tsunami, etc. Atmospheric example, snowfall, cyclone, etc. Biological is further subdivided into plant, example, forest fire, plant diseases, etc. Animals, example, infectious virus, bacteria, etc. Man-made is further subdivided into unknown disaster, example, poisonous gas release, atomic test, etc. International example, war, bomb blast, terrorism, etc. Effects of disaster. As disasters are sudden, so losses caused due to it is also unexpected. To simplify, it affects in following way. Collapsing of bridges, flooding of coastal villages, shortage of food, collapsing of houses, cracks in land, loss of contact with loved ones, deaths, environmental disturbance, increase in stress, outburst of epidemics. To sum up, various areas of life like economic, social, environmental, cultural, political, law and administration, medical etc. are affected by it and the extent to which they are affected can be clearly seen in the chart. Economic Sudden increase in fund expenditure, shortage of funds for development of other sectors, decrease in productivity. Social, weak leadership develops confusions, loss of trust, etc. Environmental Partial or complete collapsing of buildings, drying out of water sources, contamination of water, stinky pollution of environment, due to decomposing corpses of humans and other animals. Administrative professional Stress on workers, collapsing of transport system, shortage of facilities, etc. Political Blame game starts. Fight between the opposite political parties for been unprepared for the disasters, etc. Medical Injuries Emotional Mental stress, increase in epidemics, deaths of victims. Nature and scope of disaster. Nature and scope of disaster is divided into six phases. Pre-disaster phase, warning phase, emergency phase, rehabilitation phase, reconstruction phase. But for a common citizen, only three aspects are most important. One phase of emergency. Maximum lives can be saved by quick actions during this phase only. Various actions like search and rescue operations, medical assistance, first aid, restoring communication services, removing the people from affected area are expected in this phase. Gravity of disaster can be estimated in this phase only. 2. Transitional phase. Rehabilitation work is started in this phase. After the subsidence of any type of disaster, it includes clearing of debris, restoring water supply, 
repairing roads, etc., so that it will help to bring normalcy in public life. Generally, different institutes offer the monetary and other type of help to such people. 3. Reconstruction phase This is highly complicated phase. This phase begins in transitional phase. People reconstruct their buildings and facilities like roads and water supply are restored. Farming practices are restarted. However, it takes long time for reconstruction. Disaster management. Disasters are never planned, but losses due to it can be prevented in a planned manner. Disaster management is either prevention of disasters or making arrangements to face it or at least achieve the abilities to face it. Disaster management can be divided into two parts. One, pre-disaster management. Two, post-disaster management. One, pre-disaster management. This includes the complete preparation and planning to face any type of disaster. Identify the pro-disaster area, collecting the information about intensity of disaster and probable sites of disasters through predictive intensity maps and hazard maps, respectively. Getting special training for disaster management, increasing awareness about disaster management among the general public through training programs, mass media, and etc. 2. Post-disaster management. Providing all types of necessary help to victims of disasters. Participation of preferably local peoples saved from the disaster in arranging the help to victims. Quick establishment of help center. Different types of disasters need different types of control centers. Categorization of the help material received from control center, delivering the material to victims and continuous review of the help. Being always prepared for disaster rescue. Disaster Management Cycle After having understood the concept of disaster management, let us now see how the cycle flows in reality. If we can see in the cycle shown on the screen, the process starts with Step 1. Preparation Preparation of the plan to minimize destruction Step 2. Redemption Plan for minimizing the damage to the society and country Step 3. Preparedness. A plan is chalked out so as to get the quick response from general public and administration. Step 4. Reviewing the impact of disaster. Intensity of various aspects of disaster and disaster management are reviewed. Step 5. Response. Response to the disaster is to be given immediately after the incidents. This factor is followed by the disaster strike in this cycle. Step 6. Resurgence Resurgence is an important link between emergency measures and national progress. Resurrection is a stage used for the welfare and rehabilitation of the nation. Step 7. Restoration This is an important link between measures after disaster and national development. This step is useful for progress of nation and rehabilitation. Objectives of Disaster Management The major objectives of disaster management are 1. To dispose human life suffered by human being during the calamity and release of the people. 2. To supply essential commodities to the people to reduce the effect of disaster. 3. To restore the human life in the region by creating reconciliation in disaster. 4. To rehabilitate disaster victims. 5. To consider protective measure of disaster so that such disaster will not reach in future. Structure of Disaster Management Authority Disaster Management Act 2005 has been passed in our country for control and coordination of the disaster management from national to village level. The flowchart reveals how the control, coordination and authority flows 
from the prime minister at the national level to the sarpanch or tahsildar at the village or taluka level roles of the chairman at each level planning coordinating controlling implementation of rehabilitation program giving instruction to the lower level reviewing district wise disaster control unit role reviews various aspects of disaster keeps continuous contact with various agencies like army air force navy telecommunication department paramilitary forces etc for getting help it is also responsible for coordinating with various voluntary organizations for their help in disaster management national disaster response force national disaster response force is established as per the disaster management act 2005 disaster symbols we often come across disasters in our daily life when we ignore certain precautionary signs and symbols board displayed across the road or any place where there is great chances of disaster taking place few of the certain symbols which we should always remember are shown on the screen so if we want to escape this shown disaster please be attentive at the sign boards be safe live safe we normally might have come across certain situations as shown in the picture varieties of disasters like accidents stampede injuries in fighting electric shock burns heat shock snake bite dog bite fire due to electric short circuit epidemic of any disease etc happen around us what would be our immediate response or precautionary measures towards such emergency conditions right it's the first aid what is first aid first aid is immediate treatment or care given to a person suffering from sickness illness burns or injury until advanced care is given by medical assistance it is represented by the logo as shown on the screen along with first aid certain transportation methods are used in case of accidents heart attacks etc example cradle method carrying on back method etc objectives of first aid the major objectives of first aid are to preserve life to prevent the injury to protect the unconscious to promote recovery to access medical aid to ensure the respiration and circulation to stop the bleeding to determine fractures first aid kit first aid kit includes bandage wound gauze medicated cotton hand gloves clean dry cloth piece soap scissor antiseptic detol thermometer torch needle medicines basic spray gel creams first aid guide mock drill is a practice to check the preparedness of facing a disaster in this virtual situation is created to check the reaction time for example a mock drill carried out by the firefighters is shown in the video for better understanding so by watching this video we can make out some objectives of mock drill objectives of mock drill to evaluate the response of the disaster to improve the coordination between various departments of disaster control to identify your own abilities to improve the ability of quick response to disaster to check the competency of the planned action to identify the possible errors and risks well as we all know our life is unexpected so we should be prepared to face disasters 
by remembering certain rules always in our daily life. Do not chaos and push each other while using staircase in the school. Remind important helplines and use as per need. Example Police 100 Firefighting Force 101 Disaster Control Unit 108 Ambulance 102 etc. Follow the traffic rules. Look at left and right sides while crossing the road and ensure that any vehicle is not passing by. Do not touch any unclaimed objects. Do not spread rumors. Do not make chaos at the crowded places.